What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Super Carmio. On today's video, we're gonna be working on the C4S4 and we're gonna take a break from wiring and cleaning up stuff and doing something pretty straightforward. We're gonna install some wheel studs and then we're also gonna get ready for our standalone ECU. But before we get started, I just wanna walk you through the car, show you how everything's coming together and uh, then we'll get started. All right, so this is what we have going on inside of the car. We pretty much have ripped out all of the wiring that we don't need. As you can see, there's only pretty much <clears throat> one wire going to the back and that's for the tail lights and such. And then we have our battery wire right there. Um, but other than that, pretty much everything is stripped down. And this is everything that we've pulled out, which is a insane amount. But anyways, we have a ton of work to do today. Let's get started. For all of you guys that have German cars, you know how annoying it could be when you're reinstalling your wheels and have to line them up as well as ordering different size lug bolts depending on your spacers. After owning Japanese cars, I honestly I definitely prefer using studs. Um, this right here is a 78 millimeter stud, so that gives us the ability to run up to 20 mil spacers. First thing we're gonna do is just raise the car and remove the wheels. All right, now you're just gonna to wanna to clean this area up as well as chase the threads. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to make sure these threads are super clean. After everything is nice and clean, we are gonna put a little bit of thread locker on our studs. This is medium strength or blue, and thread these in until they're hand tight. All right, at this point, we're gonna torque these studs down. Now you could use the Allen keys. Um, they are 5.5 millimeters, which I don't have that size. And also, I usually prefer to use the double nut method anyways. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that real quick. So you're gonna install one nut with the cone facing towards you. And just stop right before you get to the end. And then you're gonna install another nut, the cone facing other nuts cone and you're just gonna tighten these against each other and we'll get our torque wrench and torque this nut down to 25 foot-pounds Well, as you guys can see, it's pretty simple to install those studs. It is really important that you install them properly and torque them down right. Now I'll just repeat that three more times. Next item on our list is to patch up these holes that we left behind when we removed the AC and heater core. Um, so I'm just gonna patch it up with some thin aluminum and uh, we'll also put a layer of sealant underneath just so that we'll be waterproof. And I'm also gonna add some grommets on this panel so that we can easily run our wideband sensor wire as well as our vacuum line to the ECU. So it'll just be really easy to follow and see and access should we need it.
Up next, we're gonna do something super gratifying and that is to remove all of that intake plumbing. And that is because we are going speed density so we can get rid of all of that. And up next, we are gonna be redoing portions of this power steering cooler. And because we deleted all this stuff over here, we can redo the lines. Um, we just don't need the amount of length that we previously had. So let's get to it. All right guys, well we are making quick progress of all of our items. We just have one more left to do today and that is to install this billet throttle body cam. The stock throttle body cam is plastic and can get brittle and is prone to breaking. And one of the core values of this build um, is that I really just wanna address any common issue spots um, and overbuild those locations so that we don't have to worry about it in the future. So let's install this real quick, should be pretty easy. that is going to do it for today's episode. I feel like we've made a ton of progress and checked off a lot of those items on our list. On the next episode, I'm super excited because we are going to get the standalone installed and hopefully this thing starts right up. So stay tuned. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Drop a like if you do. Subscribe and comment as usual. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.